But we're gonna first start with our shoulders. And I just want you to pay attention to the action of this fanny fan on the back of your arm and the muscle here, the serratus, and then the arms and how they're all connected. So take a moment, let's roll our shoulders up by your ears, back and down. Good, up, back and down. Good, then go the other way, back. Inhale up, forward and around. Back, up, forward and around, good. And then let's take your right arm forward and reach it, reach it way far forward. Good, then sit up tall, bring it across your body, left arm under, nice. And then press that right arm into your left, your left arm into your right, and feel that serratus mus muscle hugging in. So feel this hugging in as you press that right hand away. Nice. Good job. And then take your right ear towards your right shoulder. Get a little stretch in your neck. Come back to center, left ear, left shoulder. Good, get a little stretch in your neck, good. And then sweep your arms up, feel those shoulder blades go up and then come back down. Nice. And then let's reach that left arm forward and then really reach it, pull in your belly, good. Bring it across. Maybe feel this before you hook, feel that action of the serratus hugging in. Good, and then left arm into right, right arm into left, press in your tailbone, sit up tall. Good, and then left ear towards your left shoulder. Good, inhale, come on up. Right ear towards right shoulder. Inhale, come on up, good. And then let's take your arms out to the side, good. Press in your tailbone and then squeeze your elbows back and then bring them together. Good, back. Bring them together. Back, so feel that action underneath your armpit. Bring them together and then turn your hands towards me. So turn your hands towards me. Bring your elbows down in line with your chest and then hug those elbows in. Press your hands into the imaginary floor. Nice, good job. And then let's roll our shoulders in, up and down. In, up and down. Good, in, up and down, good. And then let's come on to all fours. Nice. Let's do a little stretch here. So take your fingers in front of you really wide. And the goal here is to open up your chest. So take your fingers in front of you, your booty is up and then pull your chest towards the mat, pull your Chin towards the ground. So all the way down, Stella, all the way down. Yes. And then if you can, you could put a block underneath your chin if you want. See if you can go lower, Deb. I want you to really open up your heart and then see if you can lift your, uh, onto your fingertips. So lift up onto your fingertips and get a little bit more height underneath your armpits. Good. And then feel that opening in your armpits. Nice. And then feel it connecting with the side of your, um, side of your, that serratus again. Good. Nice. And then make your way up onto all fours. Good. Press in your hands. So this is the protraction of the muscle. So press into your hands and really squeeze your belly, press your hands so they're tall. Good. And then let's just drop your chest. So that's retraction, your shoulder blades go together. So drop your chest, Tella, but don't bend your elbows. And then push it away. Good, yes. And then drop your chest. So we're not even going to cat yet and cow. Just drop your chest so they should sink down. Shoulder blades come together and then push it away. Yes. Now we're gonna go to cow pose. So drop your chest and then pull your heart through. Let your belly go towards the ground. And then push into the floor. Let your 
back, go towards the ceiling, top of your head goes towards the mat. Good, and then again, pull your chest through, let your shoulder blades come together and retract, look up. So feel your shoulder blades come together and then press away, press away. Yes, press them strong, nice. Good, and then from here, come on to all fours, press into your left hand and reach that right arm up and then thread it through and just do this motion. Up, thread it through, up, thread it through. And then I'm just gonna come forward so you, I can see you, yes. So I want you to really press into the back of your right arm and then pull that left hip back. Good, with your left hand, you can take it above your right arm like Deb is doing. You can take your left hand into your right hand. And then if you want, take that left back of your hand behind you and open up your chest a little bit more. So play around, see what feels good. Nice, make your hips square. Good job. Nice. And then come back to center. Let's do that protraction, retraction, cat cow again. So first in tabletop, press in your hands, make your arms strong. And if you wanna do this on your elbows, uh, you can do that instead, Stella. I want you to, arms are strong, protract, and then let your chest drop, arms are still straight, pull your chest through. Nice, push. And then drop, this time let's come into cow pose. So look up, let your belly drop towards the ground and then press it away. Good, let the top of your head face the mat, make your shoulders strong. Good, come back to center. Nice, and then press in your hands, take that left arm up behind you, reach as you press in your right hand and then dip it under. Good and then reach on up, yes, and then dip it under, good, good, and then one more time, nice, dip it under, good, and then take a moment to really press in the back of your left arm, good, you can re relax your neck if you need something underneath your head, good, and then right hand can go on top of left, Good, you can take your right hand into your left, pull that right hip back so it's in line with your other hip. Good, or take that right hand behind you into your low back, opening your shoulder that way. Nice, good, good job. Nice, and then come back to center, good. Let's take your hands in front of you again. So puppy pose again. If you have two blocks, do that. If you feel adventurous and you wanna stand up on a wall, you could do that. But really try and tent your fingers and get your chest. It should get closer to the wall after doing all those moves. Nice. Nice. And then from here, I want you to turn sideways on your mat because otherwise it's gonna hurt your knees. And we're gonna do like a frog pose. So take your legs a little bit wider. Feet in line with your knees. I'm on my elbows and we're just gonna rock forward and back the front of our hips. So you're either gonna hate this or love it. Yes, yeah, so you're really getting the front of those hips. Just take a moment, you can rock, you can be still. I squeeze my knees and then I release. Squeeze my knees together and then release. And one more time, squeeze and release, nice. And then come back to center. Let's make your way on to your elbows for Sphinx pose. Good. So I want you to squeeze your booty, that'll protect your low back, and then press into the heel of your elbow, your chest should come up. Nice. 
and then grip the mat with your fingers. See if you can pull your shoulder blades down your back, that Sphinx pose. Good, then interlace your hands so that you grip your elbows towards each other and then lift your hips or your hips and your knees, whatever you're feeling. Five, four, three, two, one, hips down. Grab the mat, press with your elbows, lift your chest, pull with your fingertips, shoulder blades go down your back and together like they did in cow pose. Good, and then interlace your hands again. Press into the sides of your wrists, press in your elbows, and then hug that side, that serratus muscle. Hug your elbows towards each other. So maybe you don't go as hard and you just lift your hips so you can feel the action of your shoulders. Nice. If your booty's up, keep your booty square. Nice. Good job. And then come all the way down. Nice. Rip the mat. Lift your chest. Good job. And then from here, we're going to come on to our left side. And I want you to, again, I want you to line up your elbow with your shoulder. And I want your elbow a little bit past your shoulder. I want you to press in your elbow and press in your hand so that this opens up, so that this isn't slopped down like this, but really pressing into the elbow, press into your hand. Good. And then from here, we're going to do some leg lifts. So squeeze your booty, lift and lower your leg, or use the bands to lift and lower your leg. Nice. Good. So 10. Good. And then turn your toe down. Turn your toe down, 10 more. Good. If you hear a noise in your hip, as long as it doesn't hurt, it should be okay. I got a full band going on over here. I've got a rock band over here. Good, and then press into that bottom leg, stretch that right foot. So this is a really good way to access your quads, press near your elbows, stretch that right quad. Nice, come back to center, good. Press in your elbows, shoulder blades come together, rip with your mat, squeeze your booty, good. And then lift your hips, or your hips and your knees. And then this time we're gonna either go to dolphin or if you want, you can go to puppy pose. So walk your feet in a little bit, come to dolphin, pulling your chest towards your legs, bend your knees a little bit. I like dolphin on you, Deb Rauscher. I like it better than down dog. You can pedal out your legs, you can bring your chest towards your knees. Good, walk your feet back to forearm plank and then down to the floor. Good, press near your elbows, press near your hands, roll your shoulder blades down your back. Good, we'll do the other side. I'm just gonna switch directions. If you guys need to grab a sip of water, I know it's super hot today. Good. I want you to press into your elbow and your hand again. So I want that to really grip and push. I don't want you to just hang out. I want you to grip and push. Your elbow is a, above your shoulder. You know, it's a little bit higher than your shoulder and you're gripping that mat. And then grab your band if you need one. Let's press in that lower leg as you lift and lower this left leg. So 10 of these, my left fingertips on the ground. Nice, good job Liz, super creative. After you do 10 straight, turn your toes down so I'll get a slightly different part of your leg. Good, I just noticed I was slumping into my right shoulder. So unslump yourself if you did what I did. Good, and then bend that left leg, grab your foot, give it a stretch. So this is where it'd be good to put the band around your foot, Liz, too, if it was hard for you to grab. And then press your foot into your hand, your hand into your foot and re-engage that right elbow. Nice, good job. 
and then come back to center one more time. Press in your elbows, shoulder blades together, grip the mat. Nice. And then lift just your hips or your hips and your knees. Keep everything even and then walk your feet up to pop to dolphin pose. If you, unless you're toast, you can take a puppy pose. Good. And then just bend your right leg, bend your left. Good. Bend your right leg. Bend your left. Nice. Good job. Nice. Good. And then come all the way down. Take a child's pose or a puppy pose, whatever feels good to you. Take a little rest. Good job. Good engagement. Okay. We're going to make our way now onto our backs. And this is where, if you have a band, uh, I'm going to recommend using it a resistance band, a strap, a robe, a dog leash. a towel. All right, so we're gonna come on to our backs. Nice. Left leg is either straight if you're really open in your hamstrings or your left foot is uh, pressed to the mat. I think that's gonna be all of you. Uh, it certainly makes me happier that way. So I'm gonna press into my left foot. I'm gonna take the strap around my right leg. And I'm gonna do this, I'm not gonna do the um, glides, I'm gonna do something else today. So I want you to take your foot, press it into a strap and just point and flex your foot. And I want you to pull with your strap as you press your foot. Nice. Good. And then you're gonna pull your leg towards you and then bring it away and use the strap to do it. Like use your arm and your leg to pull, but really press that leg, make it active. Nice. Good. And the next time you come in, just hang out and get a nice stretch in that right hamstring. Good. Nice. Good job. Take your right foot, take your left foot wider now. Take your left foot a little wider. Yep. And then take that right leg out to the side. Pressing it into the band, good. Point and flex, point and flex, point and flex, good. And then bring that leg up and back, up and back, up and back, nice. And then just push that right foot into the band out to the side, you can pulse it. Just really activate that leg. So you're getting a stretch, but in a, strength in position. And I really like this one for you, Liz Midgley. So you can give me a thumbs up or down later. Yes, good. Come back to center, right leg comes up towards the sky. Now straighten the left leg. Dig that left leg into your, that left heel into the ground. Strap is around your right foot. Come across and back, across. So press it into the strap. Yes, I like that for you. I like that you guys. Press, nice, good. The next time you come across, press your foot into the strap, pull with your right arm and also press into your left heel. Really get a nice opening. That looks so good, yes. Put this strap in your other hand, Stella. Use your right hand so you don't come over. Sorry, I didn't say that. Amanda knew what I meant, nice. Good job. Exhale, come back to center, hug your knees and your chest. Nice. And then let's go the other way. So left leg is bent and left foot is, sorry, right foot is bent and pressed into the mat. Take the strap around your left leg, point and flex first, point and flex. This one's for Amanda, point and flex. Good. Nice, and then pull that left leg towards you with the strap and pull it away. The reason I have you using the strap is I want you to really activate that leg. And so by having this strap, really everyone's legs are pressed much 
more strongly into the strap and they're much more engaged. The next time you come up, just you can pulse that left leg towards you. You can just, just pause and hold your leg there. See what feels good. Nice. Good job. And then straps in the left hand. Bring that left leg out to the side. Point and flex. Point and flex. You might need to take that right foot wider. Good. And then pulse that left leg. All right, I'm trying to figure out where you are, Farzana. You're not in your bedroom, I don't think. Or maybe you moved your spot in your bedroom. That's what you did. Okay, these are the important issues. Nice. And then pause and really press that heel into the strap. Get that nice opening. Good. And then left leg comes up to center. Right leg goes into the mat. Good. Really dig that right heel in. The strap now is in your right hand. Come across and back, across and back, across and back. Next time you come across, just press your heel into the strap, your strap into your heel. Engage that right leg. Don't let it just flop there. Get the nice stretch. Nice. Come back to center. Hug your knees into your chest. Good job. And then we're gonna do just a little pigeon on our back first. So take your, you're gonna stand your back, take your right ankle on top of your left knee. Good, and then just using your legs, pull your legs towards your chest and let them go away. So you can take your arms out to the side to support your body. Just bring them forward and back, yes. Nice, feel all that mobility in your hips. Good, the next time you come on up, take your arms out to the side if they're not already and take a twist so that your top foot twists across. Yes. Nice. So really press into that right arm, feel that opening in your shoulder, press into that right foot. Nice. Feel that stretch along the right side of your hip and glute. Good. And then you can also take your left hand and press into your leg. I see that you're doing that, Amanda. Nice. And come back to center. Hug your knees into your chest. Good. Switch sides. Left ankle on top of right knee. Good. And then just pull your legs in with your legs. Yes, feel that mobility in your legs. Nice, everyone looks perfect. Good, and then the next time you come on up, you can either do what Stella is doing and have knee on top of knee, that's always an option, or ankle to knee if you want more of your glute. Press your arms and then twist over to the, I'm gonna say right. Good, now press into that, Left arm, squeeze your legs or press that into the floor. Nice. And then if you want to deepen the stretch, good. Deb Rauscher, you can press that left leg away. Excellent. Nice. All right. Come back to center. Hug your knees and your chest. Good. And then make your way into downward facing dogs. You can roll to the side, you can rock and roll up like a kid. Nice, good. So downward facing dog or dolphin pose, just grip the mat with your hands, send your booty up. Good, nice. And then let's tippy toe your feet towards your hands, good. Come down and up, down and up, and then really press in your feet, send your booty up. Take your legs a little bit wider, let your top of your head hang in between the mat, in between your legs. Good, sweep your arms up, reach through your arms, reach, reach, reach. Good, bring your hands to your heart. Nice. Let's do a couple of sun A. So press into your feet, squeeze your booty. And then reach those arms forward and up. 
Good. Grab your left wrist, reach it up, 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 and over to the side. Good, and then maybe spin your chest open. Come back to center, grab your right wrist, turn it away from you, lift it up, 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 over to the side. Nice, back to center, good. And then inhale, sweep your arms up, press near your feet. Good, exhale, flat back or fold. Nice, Stella. Inhale, flat back. Pull those shoulder blades up, back, and down your back. Pull them together. Squeeze your belly. Nice. Hands to the mat. Down dog. Down dog. Plank down dog. Down dog. Chaturanga up dog. Down dog. Yogi's choice. Nice. I like down dog. Plank down dog. Good. Nice. From downward facing dog. Tippy toe your feet towards your hands. I like that down dog, Amanda. That was perfect. Tippy toe your feet towards your hands. Good. Stella, you come to flat back and bend those legs. Everyone else fold and bend those legs. Just go up and down with your legs, right? Get a nice stretch, send your booty up and down. Nice. And then sweep your arms up. Let's do that side body again. So take your right hand on your left wrist, reach it up. Press near feet and over, up and over. Get that nice stretch in your left side. Good, come back to center, grab your right wrist, reach it up, press in your right foot and over, up, good, and over, good. And then inhale, come back to center, nice. Press in your feet, sweep your arms up, squeeze your booty, squeeze your belly, reach your hands, active hands. Exhale, flat back or fold. Good. Inhale, flat back. Pull the shoulders up, back, and down. Squeeze your belly. Nice. Hands to the floor. Down dog, plank, down dog, or whatever you want. Nice, nice, Stella, just hanging down dog, good. Nice, good. Nice, nice, nice. Good, and then from downward facing dog, make your way into a standing pose. Sorry, just come forward, bend your knees. Nice, good. And then sweep your arms up. Nice, bring your hands to your heart. Okay, from here, let's take our feet wide. So as wide as your arms, good, bend your right knee, stick that left booty out, bend your left knee. Bend your right knee. Bend your left knee. If you're more open, you can lift that heel, Stella. You can bring your hands on the ground. You can have your hands on your hips. Nice. Breathe. Nice. Good. And then hands on your hips, hands on the ground. Come into flat back or do a fold. Bending and straightening your legs. Nice. And then inhale, come to flat back. Bend your left knee. And reach that right arm over and across. Get a nice stretch. Left hand on your low back. Good, come back to center. Bend your right knee, hands are on your hips to start with. Good, then reach that left arm across, grab that right leg, pull that right shoulder blade down your back. Nice, 
Exhale, come back to center, bend and straighten. Bend and straighten, good. Inhale, come all the way up, good. Warrior two. Right heel lines up with the long edge of the mat. Left heel kind of lines up with the back edge of the mat. Good. And then let's rotate our arms up today. Good. Inhale, bend. Exhale, reach. Inhale, bend. Exhale, reach. Inhale, bend. Take your back of your left hand on your low back. Reach that right arm forward like a nice to meet you. And then either take your elbow on your thigh or your right arm behind you. Good, pull that shoulder blade down your back. Nice, and then Amanda, if you're feeling sassy, you can take that right arm forward. You can try and reach. I'm not feeling that right now. My body does not wanna do that. Get no pressure. Good, and then straighten that right leg. Triangle pose, press into both feet. Reach that left arm up and over. Good. And then reach it back. Look at your right toes. Good. Reach it up and over. Good. Inhale. Come on up. Okay. And then we're going to shorten the stance and come into a uh, Half moon, I just thought, I just forgot the word half moon. <laughs> so come against the wall or not. Reach that right arm forward. So coming back to where we were, reach that right arm forward. Shorten stance. Good. And then bring that right hand onto the block. So have that right hand on the block. Point that back toe. And from that active leg, kick it on up. Yes, yes. Now flex your foot or point your foot. Nice, if you've got it, you can send your left arm up. Good job, nice. Look at you, Deb Rauscher, you maniac. Nice, you can bend that back leg and then come back down. That was really good balance, Amanda. Nice. Let's come to the other side. So I found that when I slow down and I don't go through like speed racer, we can do better. Good. Let's come back to center, go side to side. However, it works best for you. Nice. Good. And then turn your left foot parallel with the long edge of the mat. Right foot parallel with the back of the mat. I kind of kick my back heel out a little bit. Good. And then turn your palms open in warrior two. Good, inhale, reach. Exhale, come down. Good, inhale, reach, active fingers, active feet. Exhale, come down. One more time, inhale, reach. Exhale, come down. Good, right hand on your hip. Reach that left arm forward, forward, forward. Good. And then maybe on the back of your left leg, maybe you're on your forearm, take that right shoulder blade, pull it down your back. Nice. And then this side is feeling a little bit more open. So, but I still don't wanna crank. But if you wanted to try this, if you had really open shoulders, this is the bind. It does not feel that good on my body. It's better with a band. Nice. <laughs> Exhale, come on up. Good, triangle pose. So right hand on your hip, reach that left arm forward, 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 and then onto your shin. Good, pull your chest open, and then reach that right arm up and over. Look at your left foot, pull that arm back. Look up, arm up and over. Good, pull your arm back, look up. Good, shorten your stance again. Start in this bent knee. I want you to just practice doing this. See if you can just do this. Shift and lift, shift and lift. Yes, yes, nice Stella, nice control. Good, now get your left hand on to whatever you're gonna put it on. 
Good, and then lift, lift, lift. Take your time, Deb Rasher. Awesome. Yes. Good. Now, if you want to play around with bending that top leg, you can. Push your foot into the wall. Good. Wow. Nice. All right, come all the way on down. All right, if I had moved faster, I would have gotten a photo of that, but that was awesome. Yeah, let's take our, our legs out into a coach's pose. We'll get our hips and our shoulders. Nice. So I kind of like doing this push in. If you can get lower, you can do that, but don't hurt yourself. Nice. Good job. All right, and then come on up. We're gonna do one more standing balance with the strap. All right, so we'll just see how this, we'll see how this goes, Liz Midgley. You know it, or you can do it on the floor. I think you could do it. All right. So we're gonna put one, we're gonna put the strap around your right foot. And I'm gonna make a little, I'm gonna make a little loop here. Well, I wanna make a loop, but it's not cooperating. So I'm just gonna hold it tight like this. So I'm gonna press into my both feet, left arm out to the side, good. And then I'm gonna slide this leg up into tree and back down. Slide it up and back down, good. And then I'm gonna slide it up. I'm gonna either keep it here or I'm gonna come here with a bent knee or I'm gonna come all the way out. So that's why I used the strap, um, Deb because it's the only way I could do this. So do it maybe with a slightly bent knee. Don't send your hips too far back, Amanda. Yeah, just see what you can do. Nice, come back to center, press into your foot. See if you can let go of the strap and hold it. You're not gonna like me. I just want you to know. Good, and then right leg in front of left, take a fold. Nice. Good. Inhale, come on up, put the strap on your other foot. Good, so just have it taut. We just want it to be supportive. I like that idea, uh, Farzana on the wall. So press in your feet, squeeze your booty. Right arm comes on out, good. And then lift and lower, lift and lower. And then lift, you can come into tree pose. You can come into this mid-level pose, or you can kick your leg all the way out. Try and pull your hips back so that you're not dipping back wherever you go. Nice, really make that right arm strong, Amanda. Yeah, active. Yes, good job, good job. And then left leg in front of right, take a fold. Good job, that was just a little, little fun, a little nonsense. Nice, good job. Inhale, come on up. Let's come into Malasana one more time. So who found having this job helpful? Raise your hand. Good, good. Yeah, I like that, nice. And then just whatever you're doing, maybe you're up high and you're doing this, right? Well, can't you hand job, baby? Maybe you're down low. This is the best one for your low back, Stella. Good. Nice. Good job. Then let's come on to our backs. Good. Bring your toes in. Let's take our feet out to the side, do a little bit of a stretch in our hips. Nice. All right, and then come to your toes. Lift and lengthen your arms. 
Good. And then come on up. Boat pose or crow pose. Hugging your knees into your arms. Five, four, nice, two, one. And then take your feet back like this. Open up those hips. Nice. Good. Boat pose like this. All right, Amanda, I'm going to give you the next level. If you're going to be sassy, I'm going to be sassy with you. All right, fingertips behind you. Lift. Come here or come down and up. Go, Amanda. Bend your knees. Come in and out. Good. In and out. Good. One more time. In and out. Good. Hug your knees in your chest. Good job. Nice. And then crow pose on your back. So you're on your back. Good. Take your arms up towards the sky, back how we had them in cat pose, right? So press your hands away from you. Good. And then bring your chest towards your legs, your legs towards your chest. Release. Chest towards your legs, legs towards your chest. Release. Next one. Chest towards your legs, legs towards your chest. Squeeze those legs onto your arms. So still bring your arms lower. Bring your chest closer to your legs. Squeeze, hold. Yes. Hug your knees in your chest. Rock from side to side. Good. So you're either going to do that one more time or you're going to do regular crow. It's the same action. So you're either going to be on your back, lifting your head towards your legs, your legs towards your head, or you're going to come into regular crow. Nice. And then the third one, squeeze those legs onto your arms, Farzane. Bring your arms towards your legs. Squeeze those legs onto your arms, Stella. Yeah, bring your chest up. Bring your chest up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Hug your knees towards your chest. Who do you think you are, Liz Midgley? You crowing. You crow poser. Nice. Good job, you guys. Lots and lots of work today. All right, cool. Let's make our way into a straddle pose. So if you have tight hamstrings, you can sit on a blanket. You can take your legs less wide, but we've done a kind of a lot of prep for this. You can also take one leg in and one leg out. So let's just do some circles one way, circles the other way. Good. Let's twist a little bit. Nice. Good. And then bring both hands on one side of your right leg. Pull with your hands. And then just bend and straighten that right leg. So you're digging into that right heel. Bend and straighten. And then if you can go a little deeper, go a little deeper. Nice. So just bending and straightening that right leg. And then walk your hands forward if you have some more space. Good job. You can pulse your chest a little bit. That's not feeling good to me. So I'm just going to stick with the pressing the back of my leg into the mat. Nice. And then take your left hand on your head and twist open to the side. Good. And then just close your chest towards your leg and open. Chest towards your leg and open. Chest towards your legs and open. Good. And then you can reach that left arm up. You can do more of a pulsing. Get that side body. You can reach that left hand towards your right toes. Nice. And then inhale, come on up. Let's go the other way. So one hand on either side of your left leg. If you have to, bend that right knee if that's too much, right? And then dig into that left heel and bend and straighten your knee. Dig and bend. Good. Walk your hands a little bit farther forward, bringing your chest towards your leg. Perfect, Stella. You're not using your head. You're doing it perfect. You're like, she's not bothering me. It's because you're doing it right. 
<laughs> nice. And then maybe you can pulse your chest towards your leg. Yep. Good. Nice. Good. And then take your right hand on your head. Go to the side and then turn towards your left leg. Open to the side, turn towards your left leg. Go to the side. Nice. And then open up to the side. You can stay here. You can reach that right arm up and over. You can do more of a mo uh, dynamic movement. And then just settle into a nice stretch. Nice. Inhale, come on up. Good. All right, level one, your hands are here. Level two, your hands are here. You're gonna, like you're diving off of a, into a pool, you're gonna dive your head forward and then you gotta use your legs to come on up. Good, dive forward. Use your legs to come on up. Nice, dive forward. And then just reach your hands in front of you. Maybe they're on a block, maybe they're on your fingertips and just bring your chest forward. And just hang out for a moment, really pressing into the backs of your legs, letting your body release. Nice, and then walk your hands on back. Good, let's take our hands behind us. Stretch your wrist for a moment. This one's for Stella. Stretch your wrist for a moment. Pull your fingers back. Nice. And then I want you to take your fingertips facing your booty. You're gonna roll your shoulders up, back, and down your back. And then either just press into your hands and open your chest or also add pressing into your feet and lift your hips up, reverse tabletop. Nice. And then come back down. Good, so your hands might be too close or too far away, play with that. Press your hands again, roll those shoulders up and back and down your back and just keep your butt on the ground. Nice, good, Amanda. I think your legs were a little too close to your body. And then lift your hips up. Nice. And then exhale, come all the way down. Good job. Stretch your wrists. Make your way onto your back. Good. We did that instead of bridge pose today, just trying stuff. Good. So make your way onto your back. And then reverse crunches. Hands next to you, reverse crunches. And then either legs go together or you press on up in the shoulder stand. Nice. Yeah, Liz Midgley. This is the Liz Midgley pose. Nice, squeeze your legs together as one. Good. Nice, make sure you're pressing into your shoulder blades and not onto your neck. Good, and then slowly let your legs come towards your face. Try and make them one. That was a different interpretation of slowly, Amanda. <laughs> Good job. And then make your way onto your back, one vertebrae at a time. Good, hug your knees into your chest. And let's just do a simple twist. So just let both of your knees fall to the right. Good. Release, relax, let go of anything that's bothering you. Come back to center, let both of your knees fall to the left. 
take this time to let go of being frustrated about class or some wacky interaction in your life that's not serving you to hold on to it. Good. And then make your way into Shavasana or soles of your feet together, knees out to the side for a moment. Nice. And just take a moment to notice your breath. And notice that you were here for the whole class. Notice that you were present for the whole class. And see if you can keep that going now while we practice our breath. So just take a moment to inhale all the way to the top and exhale, let go. Good, inhale into your breath, into peace and calm or whatever your intention is. And then exhale, release. And then at the top of your next inhale, see if you can take just a little pause. And then exhale. Inhale all the way up. Pause. And exhale. If your mind starts to wander, just come back to focusing on filling up your breath, maybe visualizing it, hearing it. Pause and then visualize squeezing with your belly, squeezing all the air out like an empty juice box. Then inhale, filling up. Pause and exhale. Notice if your breath is steady or choppy. Notice if your breath is smooth or calm. And then notice if your breath is fast, slow, or it feels just right. Go all the way up and pause and exhale. Good, take one more round of breath here, just noticing what you notice. about where your breath goes, how your breath feels. Exhale, let go. Taking one more inhale. And as you exhale, turn to one side, hugging your knees to your chest. And notice that this practicing of noticing is about being mindful about your breath. And then expanding that into other areas of your life. What's working, what's not working, what feels good, what doesn't feel good, what do you enjoy, what stresses you out, what makes you feel peaceful. And then gently make your way on up to a comfortable seated position. Bringing your hands to your heart. 